hello so for today i will teach you guys how to schedule a class move meeting or tencent meeting and this uh, tutorial will let you make a permanent link in move meeting because it's too hassle to send your link to your to your students from time to time right so sometimes you have to change also the new the link uh, every day so it will be better if you can create a one one and permanent link for your students so that they can use it when they're having a class so and also to avoid lots of meeting rooms and links in the future because um if you make too much uh, too much meeting rooms it can make your your app a bit luggy and also sometimes it can uh, it can gives you it can make your computer move slow so in this tutorial we will uh, make and schedule the uh, a permanent link in Boom meeting and also i will teach you how to move or arrange your your uh, your student's camera in class in and your book and also uh, how to move your student into breakout rooms so for breakout rooms guys uh, we will okay for breakout rooms this is very important because since that we will use one link each day so there might be a possibility that your student will appear and will uh, enter in class since you are having class with another student right so it is important that you know how to uh, move your student into breakout, breakout rooms or in the waiting room so that they can wait for you there okay so now let's start i'll share my screen then this is uh, okay so this is my screen uh, as you see, I already opened the Boob Meeting app in my desktop. You can find it there on your task menu at the bottom part of your screen. And also, uh, you can click that one to open this. Okay, so as you see here, I already created all the classroom that I uh, that I created this morning. The, this classroom is good for uh, for a year. So this uh, link will be until will be used until uh, the end of the year. That would be December. Okay, so alright, so I'll teach you how to do it. And okay, here it is. Okay, so you click here. You have here the choices, right? So join, start, and schedule. So for the join, it will let you join the meeting if you already have your meeting ID. So you can click that easily if uh, your student provided you the meeting ID. So you can click that one and uh, write there the number or the meeting number, the link number. So for the start, uh, you can. You, uh, you can start a meeting right away, then share your links to your student. For the schedule, we will use this one since that we will going to we will going to use this as uh, uh, to create the link for today's tutorial. So let's click this one, and here you see here the topic, right? So you can put there the name of the classroom. For me, I uh, I make it or I name it like Monday Monday classes. Or Monday classroom so this link will be used the entire day okay so let's say for example uh, my, my student class is from my student classes start or I uh, I do my classes or I started my classes from 6 p.m. so I will start right there uh, of course the day today or let's say on Monday yeah, so we, we can choose 24 here and then of course, we will start at 6 p.m. So we will use this one, 6 p.m. And then you have to count. Okay, so what what will be the the time that you end your classes or you finish your classes? So you can put there select end time. Then let's say for me, I usually ended uh, my class or I I uh, I finish my job or I I finish my classes at until 10 p.m. So I put it there 10 p.m. Then you click OK, and then so it. It generates uh, how the numbers of hours of your of this meeting. So and also for the recurring, uh, you don't have uh, to touch anything here in the time zone. You can proceed here in the recurring. Then you click that one, and uh, much better if you can put it daily. Yes. So you can put it daily so that your your other students can uh, can use it from time. Or let's say you wanted to have a makeup classes, then you can share it to your student. And it will be available daily. So it will create a room daily. So this will be easier for you to use it in, in, in your classes. Okay, so yeah. And just keep it daily here. Okay. Then the end on. So this one, 
what will be the end or the expiration date of your link or this classroom. So since that we need to make it permanent, so we have to end this on uh, December 30, of course. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so that it can create a permanent link, right? So that would be 20, 23, 12, and 30. Okay, and then, uh, okay. The capacity is 300 free attendance for a limited time. So, meeting password, you don't have to click that one because it will uh, it will let the student input the password by the time they enter in the room. So, uh, you don't have to give hassle to your student, okay? So, just leave it blank or uncheck that one. So, enable waiting room. Yeah, we can click that one. So, you have to enable the waiting room so that uh, your other students Let's say you are having class with your students right now at 8. Then your 8.30 student wants to enter in the classroom, right? So, <laughs> you have to move that student in the waiting room, okay? Yeah, so that you, so that, uh, you can focus in your 8 p.m. student. So, enable watermark. You don't have to touch that one. Uh, attendees can join before the meeting. Yeah. You can click that one too. And then mute attendees upon entry. Yeah, you can mute that one. You make sure it's muted. Because if not, uh, it can interrupt your your present or your your classes right now. Or your present class. So then you're good to go. Uh, you can you can enable that one. Okay, and you check everything here. So Monday, Monday classroom link. Okay. And so this is Monday classroom week and also the start time that would be on Monday yes you can make it today if you want and also uh, I suggest guys you can uh, also make it from 8 8 a.m. so so that uh, you don't have to change the time in the near future let's say for example you have morning classes in the future so you can still use this link okay and you don't have to create another one and send it to your student again so let's just make it 8 8 a.m. in the morning and then let's adjust here the time again so let's make it uh, of course you change it okay here until until 10 p.m. so that would be a total of 14 hours of of meeting uh, duration or the duration of this meeting will be 14 hours so then you can put it their schedule okay schedule and ta-da okay so i'll just open the okay i'll just open here the food meeting now this time let's try to use that one uh which one is that uh the one that we created okay here so that's on monday classroom league so let's try to enter this one okay so uh, you can enter in the room okay now this time uh okay yeah so let's say you're here in the room now and you should invite your student, right? So let's send the link to your student. So I want you to click here. You have many choices here. You can mute, you start the video, and uh, share your screen, security. So to invite and share your, your links, you have to click the invite button here and copy meeting ID. Then send it to your student so that your student can enter in class. So then, okay, let's say for example, Okay, let's say, for example, your student will enter in class now. So, they will click the meeting ID. And then, you are having class with your student at 8, your student at 8 p.m. Okay? Yes, you're having class. Then, your student at 8.30 enter or enters in the classroom. Yes, so, what should you do? You have to put your student or move your student in a breakout rooms or in the waiting room okay yeah so let's see this one okay so there's one attendee okay all right so okay can you see it so you see here okay in the waiting room there's a, a one one student who is waiting there so you can just remove that one or admit the student of course if that student is if that student is uh, is in your class then you can admit that one okay yes and if that student is not yet in your class of course you have to you have to remove or just leave it there okay just admit the student that is uh, on your 8 p.m class so just we will just click admit yes okay and all right yes so 
here is your student at 8. Okay, but then, let's say for example, this is not your student now. Okay, so how, how will you going to... How will you going to move this to breakout rooms? So, you can move it to waiting room. Then, that's good to go. So, you can add students there. You can move there in the waiting room. Okay, then you can see here all the students in the waiting room. You can remove them, but don't remove them, okay? Just let them wait in the waiting room. Then, not joined, okay, here. Uh, you can see there, okay, guys? So, you, you have to make sure also you know your student's account so that you, you can identify which student is uh, you are going to admit in the meeting room or remove it. Okay? Right, so this is the blackboard. You can also change this one in here. You can click here, the cloud button here, then library. Okay, and then resources, classroom backgrounds, and you can change it like that. Like this, yes, and like that. Okay, so we will just use this one. So to arrange your class in uh, camera, your... Okay, you have to open your book like this one. You can put it there. Then you have to leave a, a space right there because you are going to put your camera here in this part of your screen. Okay, so I want you guys to move your camera right there. Click this one. Can you see this button there? It will allow you to open your camera here, the camera button. You click that one and your camera will be automatically open. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you move this one with this, with this tool right there. Okay, you move your camera here on the side and you can make it big like that. Yes, there. Okay, do like that and there you go. So you can label it in your book right there. You label it like that here. Okay, same with your book and there. Okay, like that. Then your student can see you in class. And also the bubble of the student, you, you put it there below. Okay, if there's a bubble. But I'm sure uh, your student can see you now in class. So I want you to use the class in camera. Okay? You can make it big or small. You can adjust the size of your book. You can do like that. Okay? You can minimize that one. You can click it again like that. Okay, you can make it like that and this but i suggest this one okay so that you can see your camera okay so i hope you know now how to move your camera in class in we will use this in class so good luck to your future classes guys thank you Alright, so I hope you learned something in this tutorial and uh, you can check other, uh, I will send the other videos. If you have question, let me know. You can drop it there or comment or send me a message so that I can help you. 